What's up guys? Today we're going to be learning how to make a grid layout for your Instagram using Photoshop. So today we're going to make something that looks similar to this. You may have seen this before on other pages and might have wondered how do I do that? Well, I'm sure if you're looking up this video that you're wondering how to do it. So let's get started. We're going to go here and open up Photoshop and we're going to create a new file. Okay, we'll just name it IG Square. All right. Now I have everything punched in here already. Um, for the width, we're going to do 3240 and make sure it's always by pixels. And um, the height is 2160. How I got those is um, now Instagram uploads each one of those squares um, are 1080 by 1080. So we multiply multiplied by three for the width and by two for the height. All right, so we'll hit create. All right, so now you're gonna come up here and you're gonna hit view. And we're gonna hit new guide layout. And I already have it, but you'll set it in for columns, we'll do three. And rows, we'll do two. Okay, hit okay. And as you notice, there's these nice little lines here that block everything out. That will be your each each one of your squares. All right, then we're going to come in and we're going to hit File, Place Embedded, Place Length. It really doesn't matter. I'm not even quite sure if I know the, the difference. All right, so I got a photo here. And we're going to place this. Okay. And there you go, it fits in. If yours doesn't fit in, just stretch it to however you want. And uh, to keep a uniform scale, make sure you hold the shift button while you drag it out. All right, good to go. Now hit enter. Okay, and um, I already edited my photo in Lightroom. So all we have to do now is just crop out each one of these and save them. Super simple. So you're gonna come over here in your tools and you're gonna click this little guy here that's the crop tool and then we'll just drag over and there you go and it should snap right to those guides that's the whole point of us putting those in it'll snap to it hit enter alright and then we'll go to file export save for web I got everything at, at the max you can do as you please um, and then all we'll do we'll come down here we'll hit save and we'll make a new folder here and we'll just call it IG squares alright hit create alright so we got a new folder make sure you select that and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it at IG square. And then we're going to go dash one because this is going to be the first photo that you're going to um, put in the Instagram. So you hit the one, save, and now that's done. Now you're going to click the crop tool again. And we're going to stretch this out here. Also, I forgot to add that um, when you're cropping up here in the top corner, you want to make sure that delete crop pixels is unchecked because if you do that then it's going to delete everything around it so okay um yeah we just go to this one same thing hit enter and we're going to work our way across here and file export save for web same thing save and then we'll call this one dash two save crop tool again stretch it out over here so on and so forth you guys get it enter file export save for web save dash three save 
and then we'll keep working it. Now, once you get to this point and you're gonna go crop your next one, make sure you go all the way up to the corner here because this will be our next square on the top right hand corner. Because if you know how the, it's the same way um, your Instagram grid is set up. So you start here, this is the order that you'll upload. So hit enter. Export, save for web, you guys know the drill by now. Call this one dash four. And yeah, I'm not gonna really bore you with the rest of this because it's, it's pretty boring. Um, but I'm gonna finish this up here. Thanks for watching guys. I appreciate your views. If you like this video and found it helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. Also, if this is your first time watching this and uh, this is something that you really enjoyed and it helped you a lot, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Um, then you can be updated every time I upload a new video. Well, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.